The United States government is run by three branches, the legislative, executive, and judicial. The legislative branch is composed of two chambers, the Senate and the House of Representatives. The legislative branch of the United States government is responsible for creating and passing laws. The House of Representatives, also known as the lower chamber, is made up of 435 members who are elected by the people of their respective districts. The number of representatives per state is determined by population, with each state receiving at least one representative. The Speaker of the House is the leader of the House and is elected by the members. The House has the power to initiate revenue bills and has the sole power of impeachment, meaning they are responsible for bringing charges against federal officials for misconduct in office. The Senate, also known as the Upper Chamber, is made up of two senators from each state, for a total of 100 senators. They serve six-year terms and are elected by the people of their respective states. The Vice President of the United States serves as the President of the Senate, but does not vote in most cases. The Senate has the power to approve or reject presidential appointments and to try impeachment cases brought by the House. Both chambers of Congress meet in the United States Capitol in Washington, D.C. The House and Senate have their own rules, leadership, and committees. The process of creating a law, known as the legislative process, begins with the introduction of a bill. A bill is a proposal for a new law or a change to an existing one. Bills can be introduced in either chamber of Congress by a member of that chamber. Once a bill is introduced, it is assigned to a committee for further review and consideration. Committees are groups of legislators who specialize in specific areas of policy, such as foreign affairs or finance. They hold hearings where experts and other interested parties can testify about the bill and then make recommendations about whether the bill should be passed or not. If a bill is approved by a committee, it moves on to the full chamber for a vote. If a bill is passed by both the House and Senate, it goes to a conference committee made up of members of both chambers. The conference committee works out any differences between the two versions of the bill. If a compromise is reached, the bill goes back to both chambers for a final vote. If a bill is passed by both the House and Senate and is signed by the President, it becomes a law. If the President vetoes a bill, Congress can override the veto with a two-thirds vote in both chambers. The legislative branch also has a number of non-elected officials who play important roles in the process of creating laws. These include staff members who work for individual legislators or committees, as well as nonpartisan agencies such as the Congressional Research Service, which provides research and analysis to legislators. In addition to passing laws, the legislative branch also performs a number of other important functions. These include oversight of the executive branch to ensure that laws are being implemented as intended, and investigation of potential misconduct by government officials. The executive branch of government is responsible for carrying out and enforcing laws. It is headed by the president, who is also the chief executive of the country. The president is elected by the people through a general election held every four years and serves as both the head of state and the head of government. The president is assisted by the vice president, who is also elected along with the president and serves as the president's deputy. In the event that the president is unable to perform their duties, the vice president becomes the acting president. The president is also assisted by cabinet members who head the various executive departments, such as the Department of State, Department of Defense, Department of Justice, Department of Treasury, Department of Interior, Department of Agriculture, and so on. These departments and agencies are responsible for the administration of specific areas of policy and governance, such as foreign affairs, national defense, economic policy, justice, and so on. The president also appoints other officials to key positions within the executive branch, such as heads of independent agencies, ambassadors, and judges. These appointments must be confirmed by the Senate. The president also has the power to veto or sign legislation passed by Congress and has the power to grant pardons and reprieves. The president also has the power to make executive agreements with other countries which do not require Senate approval. The executive branch also includes independent agencies such as the Federal Reserve, the Environmental Protection Agency, the Federal Communications Commission and the Securities and Exchange Commission, which have specific regulatory or oversight responsibilities. The executive branch plays a critical role in the operation of the federal government as it is responsible for implementing and enforcing the laws passed by Congress, 
as well as developing and implementing policies that affect the entire nation. In summary, the legislative branch of the United States government is made up of the House of Representatives and the Senate, both chambers meet at the United States Capitol in Washington, D.C. The legislative process begins with the introduction of a bill, which is then assigned to a committee for further review and consideration. If a bill is passed by both chambers and is signed by the president, it becomes a law. The legislative branch also has a number of non-elected officials who play important roles in the process of creating laws. The legislative branch also performs a number of other important functions such as oversight of the executive branch and investigation of potential misconduct by government officials.